Hi there, welcome back to ADSR FMA Tutorials. If you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, get yourself subscribed, youtube.com forward slash ADSR Tuts. So today I'm going to be taking a look at this FM matrix in FMA and some workflow techniques using this FM matrix. So this matrix is kind of the core of sound design with FMA and by default in a default patch all we've got is operator F rooted straight to the output. But at the top of the matrix we actually get this drop down box here, drop this down and we've got a series of presets and if we go ahead and load one of these up it loads up a kind of an FM matrix preset, it doesn't do anything with the operators or the waveforms in here, but it's loaded up this preset, this kind of routing here. So it's taken me very quickly from what I had before, a new sound, just a sine wave, loaded one of these. And I've just loaded this preset and very quickly got a much kind of more complex sound together just by loading up one of these presets and it's got some rooting going in everything's at 50% and I've just very quickly got into the sound there and then I could go ahead and start tweaking some some ratios or some waveforms And so there's a variety of presets available here. So you might want to scroll through, load up some of these and have a look at what some of these do. And there's also these at the bottom here where we've actually got some noise. X is the noise operator in FM8 and Z is the filter. Some stuff rooted through these. Right at the bottom here. And the other cool thing about this FM matrix, we could actually save our own presets in here. We only get one user slot, which I've already set up this starting patch in here. But if we weren't too precious about losing one of these presets, we could go ahead in this first slot here. We're not too bothered about losing this FM matrix preset that we have here. So I could actually go in, create something, go and create a new sound in FMA and say if we want to, very quickly, we want to set up a preset for a kind of starting patch, a good starting point, and we want all six operators on. We want to route them all through the filter at full volume. So we don't have to worry about this every time we start a new patch in FM8. Route the filter to the output. So at the moment, all it is is not really taking too much notice of this section here for now, because we've just got some stats up sine waves. But this FM matrix, we've got, we've turned on all our operators and we've routed it all through the filter. And then we could go ahead, give this FM matrix preset a name, call it new sound and then save it in one of these slots and you do get one user slot. Why you only get one user slot I've no idea because you should be able to get quite a few user slots but they've already got all these presets up in here so I'm not too precious about this top preset and I've just saved it in that slot. So now if I go create a new sound I want to very quickly get into some sound design I can just load up that FM matrix preset that I created there and all six operators are turned on, routed through the filter, and I'm just ready to go, and I can just get stuck into this section, start playing around with the ratio and the waveforms and stuff. And you could create a variety of different FM matrix presets here. So say if I just wanted to create a preset with these four operators, but I also wanted a bit of noise in there as well. And I've got X routed to the filter too. And I could have these two routed straight to the output. And I can even save... Any, any edits that we do in here we can save so I could pan these to left and right or maybe just tweak around with the volumes and stuff and go let's give this another name uh, new sound 2 and save it in this second slot here so again it's stat sine waves saving presets in here is not going to 
affect any of this stuff that's going on here so we've saved this FM matrix preset let's initialize the patch and if I quickly want to get into that preset that I had there new sound 2 and there we go it loads it all up there I've got the noise routed to the filter the, the other operators are routed to the filter I've got these two operators routed straight to the output and panned so if you know the kind of FM matrix routing that you might set up for a lead sound or a bass sound then you could go ahead and save those presets in here and just recall them very quickly another very quick sort of sound design thing you could do so if I call up one of these presets that come with FM8 and it comes with all these routings to so just very quickly get the sound together a little bit more go to this easy morph page and this timbre section here this brightness increasing this increase if I hit apply to that and boosted before these were all 50 the values in here now they're 56 so I can very quickly start editing all of those routing values and go right I want to decrease everything in here is rooted into each other at 56 sounding a little bit too brittle I want to reduce that and rather than have to go in and reduce all those values individually if I take this bright brightness down and just listen to the sound until we hit apply we've not really committed it to the sound so that's a little bit less harsh there quite like that at minus 24 hit apply now if we go back to this operators page all of these routings have now been reduced to 42 so we can do some similar stuff the detuning here So we like that detuning, hit apply, go back to these operators, before the ratio was all on one for these, and now we've got these, it's done it by the same amount, the same value, but in opposite directions, so either plus 0 0.0022 or minus 0 0.0022, so, and also harmonics. apply that and then it commits it and then it changes these values it's looking at the first before the, the decimal point it's kind of changing these a little bit and we've also got over here LFO if I just reset this sound very quickly let's go back to this operates page load up one of these presets go to easy morph quickly want to apply some vibrato to the sound if I look at this modulation page vibrato is attached to the modulation wheel so but I want to put some vibrato on the sound and just not have it attached to the modulation wheel easy morph hit apply if I go to this modulation page it's applied that LFO one being sent to the pitch and now if I hit this modulation wheel going to get even more vibrato attached to the sound so some quite handy workflow techniques there you've also got this tremolo this is gonna start modulating the volumes of the operators within LFO so and just set it to a point where we like hit apply and if we go back to this modulation page we can see what we've done here it's attached LFO2 to the volume of operator F and then we could go back and we could start tweaking this LFO2 so a couple of workflow techniques there if you just want to very quickly start getting into some sound design stuff and it can be quite daunting sometimes if you just go create new sound and you just start it from scratch so just a couple of ways to get you a bit of a head start really on some sounds get in there start loading up some of those FM matrix presets then get to this easy morph page start playing around with the timbres and the LFO and it's just not too complex you're just kind of getting stuck in and just getting into some sound design creating some sounds so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial I hope you find it useful any questions please get in touch and make sure you get yourself over to our website fmhtutorials.com tons more tutorials on there using native instruments fm8 and thanks for watching all right, cheers.